Oh, did I kick you? <laughs> yeah, the waiter crotch eater. Sometimes it's good to just hang out for a minute and wait and see what bugs are flying around and try and really figure out what they're eating. So when you do go and cast to them, you hopefully have the right fly on or pretty close to the right one and you don't spook them right away. So I'm gonna start off with just the Kabari. Kinda looks like an emerger, so it'll just kinda sit on the surface like that. I'm gonna start off with this one and then if I get any false takes or any looks, I'll keep it on. If not, I'll change it up to probably a, a bluing olive or something like that. That one just looks tasty, right? He ate a little zebra mid, or a little midge nymph. Not a zebra midge, but a little midge. He just ate that little midge nymph right there. That's what we've been seeing flying around. It's good. Hooked one earlier and lost him, so I'm glad I finally netted one. Never netted one yesterday. I'm on a kind of a slow streak. It's been a tough time for me. <laughs> Just uh, the fishing's been a little bit slow today, so I thought I'd teach you guys a little bit about bugs. Welcome to the dog. This is the bug show. Welcome to the bug show. So, what we're gonna do today is learn a little bit about entomology. That is the study of these aquatic insects. So, we're just gonna run through the basics real quick. If you already know, then good for you. You already know. And if you don't know. Stay tuned and we'll teach you a thing or two, maybe. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two. So what we're gonna do first is just flip over some rocks. Oh yeah. Because if you flip over the rocks, you see all kinds of little, little tiny bugs crawling around. That right there is a caddis pupa. Is also like a little shuck that a caddis will live in. They make a little silk casing and then uh, when they're moving around or ready to hatch, they will crawl out of that and that will turn into an adult caddisfly. You can see that's a mayfly. That's a little mayfly nymph. Moral of the story here is when you're bored and you want to learn more about these bugs or if you're trying to match the hatch, like look at that, that's just a big caddis. Uh, you can roll over these rocks and see about the size, the color, what's moving around under the water. And you've got a few different kinds of, of bugs, like you've got the caddis in its pupa stage here. It's a little mayfly in the nymph stage. And then there's also some really small midges that are crawling around on this rock too. But uh, you've got a few different kinds of aquatic insects here. So go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys wanna learn more about all these and I will try and teach you the best I can. If you guys have also some good input, then let me know. And we can go through kind of the different bugs. Like we've got pretty much mayflies, caddis, stoneflies, midges. So there's lots of different bugs in this river and we could go through the life cycles. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Just go ahead and put these in my little beaker. In there buddy sweet so let's go look at these bugs and compare them to flies that we actually have in our fly box so now I've got a few flies here I'm gonna dump out these nymphs and we can kind of see what how they match up so that wormy looking thing that's our caddis pupa and if you take this next to it, it looks somewhat similar. That's a brassy is what they call that nymph. Or this one's called a trout candy. We sell these on our website. And that one will work pretty well. Sometimes they're kind of green in color. This one's a little bit more brown or tan. And then these, it's hard to tell when they're out of the water, but this is a mayfly nymph and what's hard to tell is that he actually has three little tiny tails and that's how you can always tell it's a mayfly nymph is the three tails if you get him in the water again you'll see that those three tails separate but 
something like this copper john we saw this in our nymph pack online that will work to imitate that mayfly nymph or this hare's ear nymph call that a hare's ear because it's actually tied with rabbit hair and that will work really well to imitate that nymph too um, and this is just another caddis pupa so let me know if you guys are interested and we can go through some more so thanks for watching uh, this is just kind of something that's fun to do whenever you're the fishing slow you're out fishing and you want to just learn more about these bugs flip over some rocks and see what's crawling around and try and match it up with some flies that you have in your fly box